Hello dear friends, I am Arjan Ayboga from the Mesopotamia Ecology Movement. Unfortunately, I cannot join the seminar on water and environment at the World Social Forum in person. That's why I'm sending this video. The Mesopotamia Ecology Movement is active in the southeast of the Turk state, which we call also North Kurdistan. It's an umbrella organization of many ecology activists and groups. Um, they came together to fight for an ecological society against ecological destruction. One big issue why this uh, movement came together are the dams, impacts of dams. In North Kurdistan, for more than 20 years, there is a struggle against the Ilisu Dam and other dams. The Ilisu is the most known one. It is the largest built in the last 20 years. After 22-3 years of struggle and resistance, unfortunately, the Turkish state could complete this dam. This dam has a, a dramatic impact on social life, the cultural life and the ecology of the Tigris River. Uh, socially it will it impacts up to 80,000 people. Most of them will are ending in impoverishment. Still s hundreds live in tents because they didn't get any impacts. The law is very bad in the Turkish state. The destruction of culture is also extreme. Uh, it has flooded mostly the known town, antique town, 12,000 years town of Hassan Cave. It's a unique place, uh, heritage. We claim that it fulfills 9 of 10 UNESCO criteria. And it, will, it has impacts on the ecology of the uh, area which has been flooded and uh, the downstream areas which goes until uh, Basra, South Iraq. Uh, the impacts are dramatic. The whole water balance is disrupted. The river is no river anymore. It floods the Tigris at a length of 136 km. The Ilyusu is a, let's say, an example, big negative example of what dams can do. The Turkish state builds thousands of dams. It has around 1,500 dams or so, small and big, and it will wants to build up to 2,000 more, especially smaller ones, which are also dramatic. For this, they um, let companies build, but they also sell smaller rivers completely to rivers, so the dam construction is a way also of privatization in our region. Um, the big dams are also privatization because then the companies have the right to operate the dams mostly for electricity but also for irrigation for a long time. So um, um, the issue of dams is in the Turk state very important because the uh, uh, ecology issue became strong especially with the dams and the water issues. It was around 12-13 years ago. Um, since then the, comp the campaigns have become very diverse and uh, the issues are very complex but still the dams play an important role. They are built in all the state of Turkey in the Kurdistan region uh, which is upper Mesopotamia or north Mesopotamia uh, it's built with intensive repression because Kurdistan is a colonialist, a colonialized country. Anyway, so we fear also additional political repression. The situation in Turkey is anyway anti-democratic. Mm, you must consider that there are up to 15,000 political prisoners and uh, there is a war ongoing against the Kurds and, and against all the opposition in Turkey. I'm sure you have followed. But nevertheless, the campaigns continue and even in some regions new campaigns came up to protest the impacts of dams and other destructive uh, impacts, uh, infrastructure projects. Um, so uh, the imp I said the impacts goes until the south of Mesopotamia. 
it impacts also millions of people, millions of people in the states of Syria and Iraq. It will cut the water. This will allow to uh, irrigate big areas, allow to build other dams which would irrigate these areas. And um, the Tigris and Euphrates water is very important for Syria and Iraq. Millions of people rely on this water if it's about drinking, about energy, but especially agriculture. So that's why we cooperate with people, groups in Syria, Rojava and in Iraq together for uh, almost nine years. We have the Save the Tigris campaign. Two years ago we organized the Mesopotamia Water Forum in Iraqi Kurdistan. Uh, for us the cooperation is important this, oh, beyond borders, beyond uh, ethnic or religious background. The water is something which brings us together, what has a potential for peace. Uh, this is a crucial issue when we speak about water in our region, because the Turkish state, and probably also the Iranian state, they use water as a weapon with these dams they can cut the water as i said to iraq and they do it um, they don't do it now to iraq but there are negotiations and turkey have the opportunity to make uh, pressure and they cut the water now to rojava uh, or and the whole northeast syria which is free uh, with this revolution of rojava the Turkish state just cut the water annually and uh, there's no protest in the world, only a few ecologists or human rights activists or so other activists. And they cut the water for political goals. Uh, the people fear um, big impacts on the agriculture, drinking water. It's in the famous city of Koban is a case, but the other areas where have been occupied occupied two years ago so um, uh, Turkish state is um, acting extremely aggressive anyway so uh, the impacts um, yes are very vast in our region we are uh, going to a big water crisis in Mesopotamia actually we have it but it will become much more dramatic if this policies of the Turkish state but also the Iranian state from Iran also rivers are flowing to Iraq continues the climate change we are experiencing for more than 20 years in a dramatic way in all the region yes if we cannot stop it we will face it in a, in a very extreme way but this doesn't um, makes us stopping uh, struggling uh, in contrary must we must struggle more we have perspectives, we have discussed how a better water policy, a more social and ecological water policy is possible. And struggling, connecting struggles, not only on ecology, also on democracy, is uh, crucial in our region. And we have the hope that we can change uh, things on a bigger scale. In this sense, I send you my best wishes and a big success.